Have you ever looked at your speedometer and wondered, how does this thing actually know how fast I'm going? And how does it stay accurate even after years of driving? It's easy to take that little needle or digital number for granted, but behind that simple display is a surprisingly smart system that balances physics, electronics, engineering, and even law to make sure you're getting reliable readings on the road. Today, we're diving deep into how speedometers maintain their accuracy over time, what keeps them in check, and what causes them to drift. It's one of those everyday mysteries that we hardly question, but once you understand it, you'll never look at your dashboard the same way again. All of that right here on History of Simple Things. Older vehicles rely on a mechanical system. At the transmission, there's a small gear connected to a cable. As the wheels turn, this cable spins, almost like winding a tiny metal rope. Inside the speedometer, that spinning motion moves a magnet, and the magnet tugs on a metal cup that controls the needle. The faster the magnet spins, the farther the needle swings. It's simple, elegant, and entirely analog. Modern vehicles, on the other hand, mostly use electronic speedometers. Instead of a spinning cable, they use speed sensors, typically mounted on the transmission or wheel hubs. These sensors generate electronic pulses based on rotation. A computer counts those pulses, converts them into vehicle speed, and sends the final number to the display. It's accurate, consistent, and easier to integrate with digital dashboards cruise control, ABS, and traction systems. But whether mechanical or digital, all speedometers rely on one assumption. The wheels are rotating at a known rate, and that rate can be translated into speed. As long as that relationship stays stable, the speedometer stays accurate. But that's where things get interesting. So let's answer the real question. How do speedometers stay accurate over the years, despite miles of wear, tire changes, bumps, vibrations, and everyday driving? The first secret is calibration. When a car is built, the manufacturer calibrates the speedometer based on a specific tire size and gear ratio. This ensures that the reading aligns with real-world speed, but manufacturers don't just aim for perfect accuracy. They intentionally aim for a tiny bit of overestimation. Most cars read slightly higher than your actual speed, usually by 2-5%. Why? Because regulations in many countries require that a speedometer must never read lower than your true speed. In simple terms, if you're going 60 kilometers per h, your car is not allowed to tell you you're going 55. Reading too low could lead to unintentional speeding, which is a safety and legal issue. So manufacturers tune the system with a small safety margin. This keeps your speedometer legally compliant for years, even as components age. The second secret to long-term accuracy comes from how stable the components are. Mechanical speedometers, surprisingly, are quite durable. The cable system is relatively simple, and the magnet and cup mechanism rarely wears out quickly because it's built with light materials and minimal friction. Yes, mechanical systems can degrade, especially if the cable dries out or the gears wear, but they're far more resilient than most people expect. Electronic speedometers are even more consistent over time. Sensors don't physically touch the spinning parts. They simply read magnetic or digital signals. No friction, no rubbing, no grinding, just pulses turning into numbers. That stability is a big reason modern cars can rack up over 200,000 kilometers while keeping the speedometer trustworthy. Another factor that helps preserve accuracy is computer correction. 
Modern cars aren't just reading raw wheel speed anymore. They cross-check data with other systems, ABS wheel speed sensors, transmission sensors, engine control modules, traction control systems. When one sensor shows inconsistent data, the computer compares it with the others. It's like having multiple witnesses to confirm the truth. If one sensor misbehaves, the system ignores or corrects it, keeping your displayed speed as stable as possible. This layering of information allows digital speedometers to stay accurate longer than old mechanical setups ever could. But even with clever engineering, speedometers don't remain accurate forever. They can drift, and one of the biggest reasons might surprise you your tires. Every speedometer calculation depends on the circumference of the tire. If the wheel rolls one full rotation, the car covers a certain amount of ground. But if you change that tire size, even just a little bit, it throws off the math. Here's how tires affect accuracy. Worn out tires gradually reduce in diameter making the car travel slightly less distance per rotation. This means the car is moving slower than the speedometer thinks. Brand new tires have a larger diameter, making you travel slightly further per rotation. This means you're moving faster than the speedometer thinks. Installing bigger or smaller rims changes the overall wheel size unless you match the tire profile perfectly. Performance tires, off-road tires, or custom wheels all change the calibration. So even if the speedometer's internal components are perfect, changes in your tires can shift the reading. That's why many mechanics say that a speedometer never gets old. It's the tires that change. Now let's talk about something many drivers wonder. How accurate is a speedometer compared to GPS? GPS speed readings are often more accurate, especially at steady highway speeds, because they calculate your velocity based on your movement across the earth, not wheel rotation. However, GPS readings lag slightly when accelerating or braking, and they can become unreliable in tunnels, mountains, or dense urban areas. So while GPS can confirm your speedometer's accuracy, your car's built-in system is still the more consistent source during real-time driving. So, what's the big picture here? After years of driving through rain, heat, potholes, and countless kilometers, why does that number on your dashboard still stay so dependable? Because speedometers are designed with durability, redundancy, and margins of error that anticipate aging dot every part of the system. From mechanical gears to digital sensors to onboard computers works together to smooth out tiny inconsistencies before they ever reach your eyes. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.